on what is up you guys welcome back to the channel oh my goodness I don't know if you guys remember where this spot is at but if you guys watched some of my previous camping videos you guys might know where we're at but we are at one of the first rest stops and we are out here camping with Mike MBG Lulz. We camped at Trona Pinnacles last night and we saw some pretty cool things. I mean, this is the first of many. And um, as soon as we rolled in, I didn't vlog it because I decided to just take it easy the first night because it was really tiring. But we saw a plane on, I guess it could be a runway. I mean, it's just one long stretch of road. I don't know if you guys ever been to Alabama, I mean, Trona Pinnacles or if you watched my Trona video, but at the entrance, there's this long stretch of road and I guess that's where the plane landed. So I'm gonna leave a B-roll right here sequence for you guys to see, boom. It's kind of crazy to see a plane at Trona. I've never seen it before. But anyways, it's beautiful right now. It's winter time. It's honestly my favorite time to camp. I could deal with the cold, but I can't deal with the heat. And I just want to give a little introduction to Mike right here. What up, Mike? What's up, guys? It's MPZLOLs. I'm trying to get my subs to like 100K in like two hours. Subscribe, please. Yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button to Instagram. I'm going to leave it right. Right here, bam. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get back on the road, gas up, and then I'll be back. Alrighty, so we parked the car. Hope you guys like that little roller. Not even, not even a roller, but that little B-roll sequence. But we parked right here and I found a little cave. So, I mean, we might as well check it out. What do you think this is? Do you think it's a gold mine? Probably something. Ooh. It's a cave that goes in. Oh, it's blocked off. Can't really see anything, but kind of cool, you know? A little cave. Someone can sleep in here. I wonder what they did back then. But anyways, that was that. <laughs> We're done exploring now. Um, I'm sure they just made shelter here because this is pretty hard rock to go through. Uh -huh. And this they made shelter because like if you go to Mojave, yeah, it's borax. Right. But the thing is like nobody dares to go in there because it's it's like so silty uh -huh. that if it collapses, you're dead. Oh. This is better because it's hard rock. Right. But in Mojave, yeah. it's literally like... Like clay. It's it's not clay. It's like a, it's what they make soap with. Uh -huh. like borax mines. Uh -huh. So borax is like dusty. So if you hit chip, 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 chip. It'll chip, just break, it'll off. Like break off. It won't hold. Oh. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my crib. You can get something like this in South OC for, you know, 1.2 mil. <laughs> here, here. Come check it out. <laughs> so this is my bedroom. Damn. And then my living room. Damn, what are you doing there? Super close to the beach. Not really. <laughs> In the middle of all the traffic. Worth it. It's great. <laughs> Don't we love MPG Lulz? I mean, I gotta give a shout out to this guy, man. He's He put me on. He's one of the guys that put me on, for sure. I wouldn't be out here without Mike. So make sure to hit that follow button. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. So don't forget to follow mine too, but I guess we got that stuff done. Time to head to camp and yeah. see what we got out there. Well, we'll see what's left of Alabama Hill since this place got so popular, half of it's closed off. So thanks to, not just kidding, I'm not talking shit, <laughs> but you know who you are who fucked it up for all of us. <laughs> Chasing E-Man. Oh shit. He's never been here. <laughs>
So we finally made it to camp. Man, look at it. Show you guys real quick. Oh my goodness. Since um, it's gonna be a little bit colder, I decided to just uh, sleep inside. So I got the old trusty setup with the most comfortable mattress. I'll leave a link in the description below. Check it out because honestly, it's the best mattress you can ever sleep on. Because Every time I sleep on it, I have the best sleep. I mean, rooftop tent, any tent, not so, not so much because the padding is like kind of thin, but this is a memory foam mattress. So I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description below. Check it out if you guys are planning to sleep inside, but let me show you guys how to set up my mattress inside the car. But before I do that, I do want to show you guys how I open up my new bumper. I forgot to mention in the install video, when you guys are tightening the mounting plates, make sure you guys jack up the bumper from the back just so you can make it kind of level to release some of that pressure. Then you can get a good, nice tight because a lot of people ask me if, if I experienced any vibration or stuff like that. And so far I haven't felt anything. I mean, I went, this is the day two of camping and I don't know, it felt pretty fine on the trails. So we'll see after today, but let me show you guys how it opens. So. If you guys remember, I built my drawer system with the sleeping platform. So let me show you guys how to set it up. Or if you guys are interested on building your own drawer system, be sure to check out my video. I have a two part video on how, how I built the drawer systems, but let me show you guys how to set it up. So we're gonna come to the, the driver's side. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and set back seats down. I'm also gonna push the front seats forward. All right, so once you set both seats down, I actually set my sleeping platform up so I can have the back seats up and then it will make it easier for me to set this down so I don't have to take the mattress out. So let me show you how it folds. Bam, and then boom, I have another section right here. And then I'm gonna grab my trifold mattress and just grab it all the way through. And then we're gonna come to the back. And boom, just like that. It's This is actually a, I believe it was a full-size mattress. That's pretty much my camping setup. And I just put my sleeping bags up there and stuff like that. And you're nice and cozy. And if you look at it right here, it's about four inches of memory foam. So this is a very comfortable mattress right here. It's not a bad option. I definitely highly recommend it. So if you guys are planning to sleep inside, I would highly recommend the trifle mattress because once you're done with it, you can just fold it right up and you have plenty of space to store all your stuff. Try to get up there. Oh yeah. Woo. Yep. So this is how I'm pretty much camping tonight. All right, we got Mike on the stove tonight. What you got going on, brother? Fried rice and in here somewhere, Ooh. Chinese sausage. Oh, where'd you get the Chinese sausage from? Uh -huh. um, it's actually from a very, very, very Asian place called Costco. <laughs> Costco sells Chinese sausages? Yeah, two packs. No way, I don't trust it. It's pretty good. I don't know, if I don't see a C level grade for the cleanliness, I don't want it, you know? Oh, that's actually the legit brand. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Nine dollars. So we got this fried rice from Costco as well. Look at this. No, this is also handmade. No, I'm kidding. This is also, <laughs> this is also Costco. And hey, Mike is so smart with this meal right here. It's I'm super just, easy I'm just to make. lazy, you know? I don't want to work harder than I have to. No, 100%. That's what I'm about, bro. Mm -hmm. God damn. That's why I like to do hot pot and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. In about, like, what, five minutes? Ready to go? So while Mike is making the fried rice, I'm gonna go ahead and make some burgers. Same burgers we made last time in that mammoth trip, so let's get to it. Look at that burger. First bite. Ooh, look at this juicy burger. Mmm. Wine bread, two fish sauce, one more pinata. Yeah. You got to try it out. Super easy, very delicious, and very fun to make. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hope you like that little B-roll sequence. It was kind of fun making it. It was actually all handheld. I hope it came out good. I mean, I will see when I get home, so. I mean, by the time you guys see it already, I already know how it looks. But anyways, I like to give a shout out to MK Lighters for hooking me up with some lighters right here to light up that charcoal grill. As you guys see, I hooked it up with a shit load of lighters. So we got a little lighter right here, and it's a mixture of torches and the flame. So I personally like the torches right here. 
I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh. But yeah, the torches are definitely my thing right here. Yeah, they just pretty much gave me a bunch of lighters right here, so I will never be short of a lighter. I mean, there are times where I forget my lighter, and I'm always looking for a lighter, but MK got me covered, because I'm going to leave one in every pocket of the car, so so I'll definitely always have a lighter whenever I need it. So, shout out to MK Lighters. I appreciate you. So we just want to give a huge shout out to MK Lighters, especially the team in Eastvale, Marlon, Taylor, and everybody there for rigging us up for this trip. As you can see behind us, we are in beautiful, not Alabama Hills, just kidding, we're at Alabama Hills, um, hanging out for the weekend, so... We appreciate it and thank you. Whew, Mike got us hooked up on this above ground campfire. Look at that. Actually, this is what we cooked the burgers on and it doubles as a fire pit. Appreciate shout it, out, Mike. Uh, shout out Fold of Flame. Shout I've out. had this thing for five years probably and it's been in more states than some people have, so. Damn, god damn. What's one of your best memories with this girl right here? IVR during COVID. It was maybe 20 of us up there and shout out to Joe Mar, but he probably put three or four bundles of wood on this thing. It was like a tower of wood and we burnt it all the way down. No way. Yeah. It's really pretty cold outside right now. It's about, I'll say a good 40 degrees with a little slight breeze, but we're hanging in there staying warm. So I don't know, we're just, we're gonna kick back and if something cool comes up, I'll turn on the camera. All right, I think it's time to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Woo. Ah. Woo. Made it to the morning. That was a little bit colder this morning. It's because I didn't use my sleeping bag. But Mike is already on the grill. Look at that. What you eating? Costco ramen. Damn, that must have been a bomb because three minutes ago it was still full. Yeah, when you're lazy and you don't want to clean too much. Yes, this sir. Is but holy crap, it's so beautiful up here. Yeah, damn. Look at that view. Damn, Mike, this is probably one of the coolest mods you have on your truck. Yeah, the Lego head. I thought I lost my initial propane tank, so I bought another one. Shout out to Jerry at Barrier Metal Fab. And yes, sir. We wanted that's to kind the of... godfather, not the godfather, but that's the savior of the overlead industry. Exactly, Jerry's the savior. Um, we uh, decided to paint it, so I painted that for like seven days straight, and then. Yeah, it came out really good. I my mean, girlfriend did the art. I just painted the yellow. So. Shout outs to the girlfriend. Dude, she did a great job. All I'm right, glad so you Fire. Super fire. Oh my god. Wow, that was amazing. Alrighty, so now it's time to make that foil pack nachos that I've been trying to make. I mean, it's in the morning, not ideal in the morning, but get some foil. Quick question Do you guys put the shiny top on the outside or do you guys put the dull side on the outside? Let me know in the comment section below. We're gonna spray some, uh, some Pam. Throw like a, just a little melt, and you're gonna add a generous amount of cheddar cheese. There. And then we did cook up some tri-tips yesterday, so I'm just gonna throw up some tri-tips, you know. Shout outs to Mike for making the tri-tips. It's a little bit bigger, but it's okay. We want the big pieces. Look at that. Cheese on top. Boom. You just wrap it up. Let me go this way first. Oh, oh. Now I'm actually going to double wrap it so it doesn't get burned. So you... And then from there, place it down and just let it heat up. In about like maybe five minutes, it should be ready. Alrighty, so in about five minutes, I think it's ready. I don't know. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna add a little bit of extra cheese on top for good luck. We're gonna add a little bit of extra cheese on top for good luck, just to cover some of the dry tip. And then, since we don't have the campfire anymore, we're gonna go ahead and use a trusty MK Torch. Shout out to MK Torch for supplying this. Now, we're gonna get some trusty guacamole on top. Smear it on top. Look at that, guacamole. I don't even know if it looks as appetizing, but trust me, it's gonna be so freaking good. Washed up. Can't forget the pico de gallo. I mean, how does that look? That actually looks fucking far. Mm. And if you wanna be a little freaky, 
We got a little bit of tahine right here. Sprinkle that on top. Boom. Just bless it. Look at that. Number two, just in case, you know. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I need another taste test. Mm. Just in case. Oh my goodness. Good stuff, Ray. Thank you, thank you. Super worth it. Very easy to do. And pretty good for breakfast. I mean, I definitely eat this for breakfast. Oh, that tight up is so good now. Mmm. And look at the pan. The pan, last time we, we cooked it, the cheese was stuck. Now we have fried cheese. Oh my gosh. Let me get a little bit of that on top. Honestly, this could be a freaking meal for camp. Super easy and, and very shareable too, so you can bring this for a big group. You just gotta cook a bigger batch, but look at that. Make sure you put the pan so the cheese doesn't stick. But it, oh my god, fried cheese. Mmm. Cheese! Dude, that thing is so bomb. It's still, there's still some left. I'm gonna like, keep picking at it, but oh my god. Mmm! Oh my god. The tahini, that just adds a little extra. Mmm. I didn't expect the tahini would be good, but I usually put tahini on everything. Fruits, chips, and it goes well in nacho soup. But man, thanks again, Mike, for planning this trip. It was a fucking dope-ass trip, bro. Thanks Appreciate you. Thanks We're going to end the vlog here. If you guys like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.